The next set of options will only appear if you're running OS 2.55 or later, so be sure you're running the current version of the OS. Here we have the option of choosing MathPrint or Classic Mode. MathPrint Mode gives you access to math templates allowing you to match mathematical expressions and formulas to written ones, as well as those in textbooks. This is the default setting. Classic Mode is the familiar TI-84 Plus interface with enhancements of scrolling history on the home screen and fraction math. The next row allows you to select the output as improper fractions or mixed numbers. The options in the Answers row are Auto, Decimal, and Fraction. If you choose Auto, fractions and no decimal point will be displayed as fractions, and expressions with any occurrence of a decimal point will be displayed as decimals. You can also choose to have your answer displayed always as a decimal, or have the TI-84 attempt an approximate or exact fraction result. Go to Format Graph is a shortcut to jump from the Mode screen to the Format screen. To enable this, you can choose Yes. The next row allows you to turn Stat Diagnostic on or off. This is a shortcut to the option of displaying R and R squared when calculating statistical regressions. The next row turns the Stat Wizards on or off. Stat Wizards are dialog boxes that prompt you for input or variable information for certain statistics commands rather than using the home screen, which requires you to know the required inputs and separate them by commas. When they're turned on, the wizards will automatically launch when you run the commands. The last row on this page allows you to set the date and time of the calculator. In this case, I have some trigonometry that I'm going to be entering into the calculator, and I'm also going to be using some very large numbers. So I'd like to change the calculator setting so that angles are interpreted as degrees, and I would like the numbers to be displayed in scientific notation. I'm going to press the down arrow key to move my cursor to the top of the first mode menu screen, and the blinking cursor is over the normal setting in the upper left corner of the screen. I'll press the right arrow key once to highlight SCI, which is the scientific notation setting in the mode menu. Notice that the cursor flashes over SCI, but normal is still highlighted. Now I'm going to move down to the lower right corner of the calculator to the Enter button, and I'm going to press Enter to select the scientific notation setting. Notice Normal is no longer highlighted. It's difficult to tell whether I've actually made a selection while the cursor is still sitting on top of the highlighted selection, so I'm going to press the down arrow key once to move the cursor away from the scientific notation setting, and I can see for a fact that scientific notation has been highlighted and selected. I'm going to do the same thing for the Angles row. So I'm going to press the down arrow key once again, and I'm going to press the right arrow key so that I'm highlighting the degree setting. So now I'll press the Enter key, and now I'll press the down arrow key again to move my cursor away from that setting and verify that the degree setting has been selected. Once I've made all of my selections in the Mode menu, I'm going to return to the Home screen so I can continue to perform calculations. To return to the Home screen, I'm just going to press the second key in the upper left corner of the main keypad area. Once I press second, notice that in the upper right corner of the screen I get an up arrow indicating that I had pressed the second key. Once I've pressed the second key, I'm going to press the mode key which will execute the blue command above it, which in this case is quit. This returns me to the home screen and now I can start performing calculations.